Hey everybody, Chem Class Rules here. Today, we're going to be burning and melting sulfur to investigate some of its different allotropes. Allotropes are samples of the same element with different characteristics because of how the atoms are bonded together. Normally, when we think of sulfur, we think of this. Bright yellow and brittle, with a small amount of luster. The atoms in this type of sulfur are arranged in a repeating geometric pattern that forms its crystal structure. However, as the sample melts and then very quickly cools, that crystal pattern is disrupted and we get this, known as amorphous sulfur. Still bright yellow, but somewhat rubbery and actually kind of sticky. The stuff is really, really cool to play with, although it makes your hands smell terrible. And if you take that amorphous sulfur and melt it again, and again quickly cool it, you'll end up with another allotrope of sulfur, this time with a deeper reddish brown color and the consistency more like rubber instead of a chewing gum consistency of the yellow amorphous sulfur. Here's a great shot of the sulfur melting and dripping into a beaker of water. Notice the color of the drops when they fall into the water. That's yet another allotrope of sulfur, that one legitimately red. Here it is, heated up in bulk in a beaker instead of burned slowly over the flame. Make note of the color as we pour it out into this watch glass. It's a very, very vibrant red color, although that color doesn't last long. As the sulfur cools down, the connectivity between the atoms changes. Sulfur is also soluble in hot kerosene, so we went ahead and recrystallized a sample, and what you get are these wispy long tendrils. Alright, here is our red sulfur cooled down a bit. You can see the color has started to change back to that brown of the more amorphous sulfur. I really love this because the bottom has a mirrored finish, but on the top you can see those long crystals formed as the sulfur was cooling. Over several days, as these samples sit, all of them will return back to that bright yellow, brittle allotrope of sulfur that we saw in the beginning of the video. And just for comparison, here's our original sample and a little bit of our amorphous drips that have been sitting for a few days. You can see they've already started to return back to that yellow color. Alright everybody, the universe is full of wonder and you should be too. And as always, thanks for watching.